This is Buckingham Palace, home to the royal family for the last 170 years. These are the Queen's Horse Guards. And that's a statue of Queen Victoria, the first monarch to live here in 1837. These are the Queen's Foot Guards. They consist of soldiers from five different military regiments and are responsible for protecting the royal palace. You can watch the changing of the guard every day at 11 a.m. The guard's uniform is famous all over the world, especially the big black bearskin hat, also called a Busby hat. It's 45.7 centimeters tall, weighs nearly a kilo, and is made from real bear fur. Here, you can see members of the royal family coming out from Buckingham Palace in horse-drawn carriages. First, Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, and then the Queen's youngest son, Prince Edward, the Earl of Wessex. There are a lot of people here because it's the Queen's official birthday. She actually has two birthdays. This one, which is on the second Saturday in June, and her real birthday, which is on April the 21st. The Queen is head of state, but Britain's a constitutional monarchy, so she must remain politically neutral, and that's why she doesn't vote or express opinions openly. She doesn't need a passport or driving license, and doesn't normally use her surname, Windsor. This is the official birthday parade along Pall Mall, the long straight road that leads to Buckingham Palace. The Queen is head of the armed forces, and she decides when the country is at war or when the war is over. But in reality, it's the government that takes these important decisions.